So we're just going to have a quick look at rigging a wide Y-ang. Any uh, Y-ang that's over 1.5 metres, so basically can you touch the anchors, then you need two points from A and the side just to protect you. If you had a failure of one anchor, you know, a, a swing of the ropes over a sharp edge or something like that. So uh, in this case, I've got two anchors rather than structural steel. If it was just two strops, it'd be quite easy, but the fact that it's two anchors makes it a bit more tricky. Now let's start with a big bunny. Right, clipping my two ears. And then I'm going to want, the angle is going to be something like that, so I just need to make sure that this is dressed correctly. All right, might take a bit of shaping once, it's, once I've got the Y in the right place, just to make sure that it is fully equal. Make sure it's all dressed right, so something like that. Do the same with the other one. Seating it all up, looking like it's going in that direction. Feed a bit more in. All right, so that's going to be something like doing the gates up. Um, okay, so my drop is uh, in line there, so I'm going to want my alpine tying about where I am here and then out to the strops. So I'll just drop that one for the time being. I'm just going to pull out a big loop. Kind of flick it over where, about where I want it to be, give it a bit more for the knot. And then it's dead simple, just cross that one over that one. As opposed to having it like that, which is not right. So cross that one over that one. And then just pull the bite of rope through, swapping hands. And then I can wander over and clip them in. Come back, and then I start to look at my why is it in the right place? It needs to go this way a little bit, so I'll just feed a bit of the rope into it. All right, so that's going to be something like, so that'll do for one of them. Next one. Come back, adjust it a little bit. Okay, so once I've got it something like, I can get into descent. And now I can start to walk backwards and I can see what my angles are like. So if this is, uh, it looks really wide that, like as a rule of thumb, you don't rig a Y-ang over 120 degrees, but when we've got this situation like we have here, very short distance before the edge, I want my knots well back from the edge. I don't want, I don't want to get an angle, you know, it'd be better having a 90 degree angle where I'm stood, but it's safer having them further away. You know, if this is 120 degrees here, which say it roughly is, if I weigh 100 kilos and I'll have 100 on that anchor, 100 on that anchor, you know, it's not even close to safe working loads. So next, obviously, knots in the ends of your ropes. Couple of, uh, couple of stopper knots, whatever you want to call them. Chuck them off. 
Always worth leafing everything. People always forget, you know, when you're inspecting your ropes every, every shift, just leaf them out down the building rather than chucking them off. You can check if there's anything wrong with them then. There we go. Right, separate them out. The problem now is we've got a 90 degree edge. There's nothing we can do about it. We're on top. So we're going to have to protect it in the best way possible. So the least effective way of doing this is going to be one of these. All right? One on each rope, one, both ropes into it, whichever way you want to look at it. If this is a 90 degree steel edge, this isn't appropriate. This is all right for bits of abrasion, all right? They're only canvas. Um, so we all know how to put one of those on. Next option, maybe, a lion edge guard. So we can Lark's foot this onto your, onto your backup rope. I'll tie a Prusik. Pretty nifty, really. So it's stainless steel, and then it's set at a 90 degree edge, so we can put that on. Get it tight, make sure there's no stretch in it. And then seat our ropes into it as we go over, and hopefully that'll protect it. Another option might be something like a rack that can go over the edge. Um, and then, obviously, it needs protecting so that it doesn't, doesn't fall off. You could tie it tie an alpine in your backup rope. Tether it on like that. And then as we go over, again, seat your ropes into it, make sure they're not sat on the edge. There's different angles you can have it with. The next option would be if you don't have stainless steel edge guards or metal rollers or DMM Hedgehogs is uh, what we always have on site, two metal straps. And then I'm just going to tie an alpine close to the edge. And clip one wire strop in. Check the distance over the edge and then I'm going to pull some rope up and tie another alpine over the edge. So that now, when, when I get on the other side, this rope will be slack, the wire edge will be protecting, the wire strop will be protecting the 90 degree edge, uh, and there's no danger. We can do the same in the working line. Right, just before we go over, I'm just gonna lay my strops over the edge Make sure that they are, they're over, and it's not going to stretch. I can easily adjust this alpine to get it to the right length. Uh, Etre in the other side, so I'll just jump over now. There's no easy way of doing this. It's always a pain, especially when you've got loads of tools hanging off you. I'll just double check that everything's right. Realise I've forgotten something, to have to climb back up. Or just nip back up, unclip my cow's tail. <laughs> 